Yeah, I'm Colette from Adelaide, and um, my daughter um, wanted to go on a retreat, for, asked me if I knew of any retreats for the weekend, and I had just read your article in the Inner Self magazine, um, and she was actually after the one that I'd gone to at Nairn. And I said, oh, I've just read about this retreat. And I said, are you interested in doing that? It's a week up in Bali um, with skillful minds. And so she just, she didn't even look to read it. She just jumped at it and said, yeah, that sounds good. Um, and the reason why I find myself looking for it was I've just had a, um, the last four years have been quite sort of uh, difficult for me. And I've sort of come in through a lot of that stuff. And so therefore, for me, it was really not about coming along to um, do any more learning or any more exploring. It really was about just coming along to chill. I won't go into my personal yeah. stuff because I think it was all my personal stuff that kind of then brought up some health issues. I think just the stress of dealing with some of that stuff, which I've dealt with, you know, quite well. But that then um, flared up some uh, health issues for me because I have rheumatoid arthritis, which was dormant for seven years. And um, through the flare up, I wanted to do natural things as well. Well, more so natural things rather than do the medication thing. So prior to coming up here, I had done several different types of therapies that um, natural therapies that and one of the, the big one was changing my whole diet and um, so no meats no dairy no sugars losing lots of weight uh, that I didn't need to um, doing lots of natural stuff um, acupuncture Chinese herbs um, subconscious work lots of things like that that I feel at the time I was being guided to do and I thought that that was what was going to settle all the inflammation. Anyway, it didn't and so towards the end I was actually getting quite drained physically, emotionally and um, quite down and, and um, questioning all my beliefs that because it was my whole belief system that was guiding me to do these different therapies. So it was for no result. So there's been several things on this retreat which has really helped me and, and none of them I was even um, expecting. I think the biggest one was um, that one-on-one -on -one with you. Um, that one-on-one -on -one with you just allowed me to view my whole situation really quite different, different. I felt quite stuck with where I was at. That one-on-one -on -one just really helped to liberate me from all of that. After that one-on-one -on -one with you, um, you know, that next exercise which helped me really greatly was that one where um, when, if you feel yourself being stuck, go out, think about it, put it at the back of your mind, walk through nature or wherever it is you feel like you want to walk and just look for little things that might help. That was a huge, huge thing for me um, because I think when, when I was trapped in all that stuff, I wasn't actually, you think you're looking for your solutions, but there's a trap list that's preventing you from doing it. So that exercise, I was able to think about it, put it back, go out, and the stuff that I find also connected in with what you and I were talking about. So that was really quite powerful as well. And the story, doing that story was quite amazing because you know, I, I can tend to, I see a certain part of myself, but not that. And, and even though I can sort of sense some of that's there, I'm not looking at it. All those other little things that could be holding me back. And that story was just very, very powerful. And as you've said before, like when, you, when you're dealing with kids and stuff and you give them a story when they're a kid, they can take that. I've got this little story now that I can take with me and it's so helps me to see who I am and what it is that's other little things that have been holding me back. So I've just been quite blown away by the whole experience, especially when I wasn't expecting anything. 
again, I think we were, I like the way that when you organise the retreat, you do that initial catch up with whoever happens to be in Adelaide. Unfortunately, as you know, the ones that are in other states, unfortunately they don't get to, but they also have that good contact with you anyway. Um, but I find that very helpful, um, being in Adelaide, meeting some of the women first. Coming up here, we've been so fortunate. We've all connected really well. All the girls, my daughter, they've been beautiful with her. Yourself, we've all got on really well. Um, the resort is just, it's just amazing. It's an amazing place to spend by the ocean. And everywhere you walk, there's beautiful smells, the sands of the water, which is just behind us, <laughs> the ocean. And the staff here are just unbelievable. They just, they can't do enough to help you. And it's one of those, this place, I, I mean, I won't go into this anymore, but I do have issues around feeling safe. And the last couple of nights I've left my door open um, because you just totally feel safe here. And, you, and it's just, that's so liberating as well. Leaving your door open and you've got the breeze coming in and you're just lying on your bed and it's lovely. The whole retreat. It has to be the whole retreat because um, I think because I have learned so many things about myself and um, just sitting, I, 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 just being able to be with people, but you also have that um, freedom to, there's no pressure if you kind of want to walk off and have your own space. Um, just, yeah, the, I think the whole experience has been really lovely. I mean, I think generally anybody would benefit from this if they allow themselves to kind of go there. But um, I think if anybody does have any little inkling about wanting to do something, don't push it aside. Just kind of go for it because it's, um, it really is quite a liberating experience. And even though you don't, you know, I don't expect to walk away from here and, you know, all my issues have been resolved, but it's, it's given me even, I've got a lot of tools now as well that I can take away. So I think anybody, if you just feel like, um, even if you think you just want to go on it way and have a good break, do a retreat for a good break. Don't expect anything and you'll be quite surprised what you take away.